Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret about caricaturing people live. The most difficult face to caricature is a face that is considered attractive or beautiful. Take a look at this face of this photo. I'm not sure quite what to exaggerate, but look at these other photos. In these cases, it's obvious what I need to exaggerate. And so, I have a solution. What I do is, instead of trying to exaggerate and go crazy with this face, I stylize, and I have a formula for stylizing. So, I stylize three things. The eyes, the lips, and the hair. And the reason is, is that obviously she has taken time to make her eyes and lips and her hair very attractive. And so I am going to exaggerate those exact things. So here we go. So actually it's not exaggerating, it's stylizing. So I'm just gonna do a quick silhouette sketch of her head, because I'm kind of doing this in the style that I would be doing it if I was at a live event. And uh, sketching really is cheating because the best caricature artists, they don't sketch at all. They just pull out the marker and they just get started. But because I can do my sketch in 15 seconds, I think that's okay because 15 seconds is not too much time. So the first thing I'm working on to stylize is the eyes. Obviously she has put it, uh, she's got some makeup and mascara on there. And so I'm going to make her eyes like turn the volume up to 11 or try to. Now the eyebrows, she's taking time to really get her eyebrows right. And so I want to do the same thing with my drawing. I'm trying to keep these lines smooth and parallel. And if I slow down and start shaking a little bit, that comes from getting old and drinking too much coffee. Another thing I could have done is to make the eyes bigger than they are in the photo, which I didn't think of that until just now, so maybe if I draw her again, I'd try that. On this side, her eyebrow disappears behind a swoop of hair so I'm gonna just leave room for that to dis disappear there. And part of emphasizing and stylizing the eyes, nose, and hair is the opposite. And the opposite of that would be to de-emphasize the nose. So if you want to emphasize the eyes and mouth, you would de-emphasize the nose, and that automatically begins to emphasize the things that are not de-emphasized, if that makes sense. And the way to de-emphasize is just use less lines. Use the very basic lines that you can use, whereas here I use lots of lines, lots of, you know, attention to these lines and all, the, and the way they work together. And then the, uh, the nose, just some basic lines. So that's de-emphasized. Now the lips. I wonder if I made these larger. It would be good. Let's see what happens. Now let's get out my big marker. This is a Tombow brush pen. I'm going to use the large size now. I'm going to get a chin on there. I'm trying to keep the lines smooth 
and uh, tapered. The better I can do the lines, the uh, the better the drawing's gonna be. Now the swoop, the hair swoop. Now this is a difficult part too because to get a good line, you have to kind of swoop with your hand. But if you miss where you wanted to put that line, then you messed it up. That's why when you're drawing live, you got five minutes to do the best you can. It's not gonna be the best drawing that you've ever done in your life. But it's the best you can do in five minutes with someone sitting in front of you. I've kind of made her uh, shoulders more narrow. That's something you can get away with with a caricature. That's kind of, this is like the throat and then the uh, collarbone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, now I'm on her hair, and uh, look at these curls in the photo. She's got these curls coming out. Obviously, she did that on purpose. She wants those couple of curls to hang down and look stylish. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. And I'm going to try to do it with a swoop so that it looks natural. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm just going to go boom and then maybe come out a little bit. Let's do it. And I can also do like this, uh, like flip the sides of it. That flip the plane, in other words. All right, now let's get top of the hair. Let's do this thing. We're going to make an earring. And uh, watch this, I'm, go I'm moving the earring. It's not like this in the photo, but I I'm drawing it like this. Because I don't want to create a tangent. A tangent is when two lines are too close to, to each other. It's better to have crossing lines. So I drew it like that. And then um, I can't see this part of her hair, but I'm drawing it in there so that makes more sense. And then she's got like, a hair shape behind her neck and I'm gonna draw that on. Okay, now the other side. Let's get that started. Now it, she's got another swoop, or not, a, not a swoop, but a, um, I don't know what you call it, a dangle. How about that? So here we go, it's, it goes like this, it kind of curls. Awesome. We can do plane changes on that too. If you think of it like a noodle. All right. I'm adding stuff here I don't see either. She's got a cool necklace. Get that on there. Okay, now to finish the hair, I'm going to do hair flow lines. Just making these up as I go. Another thing I don't want to do is to have all the lines be perfectly in sync. I want there to be some manufactured randomness in the lines, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so that is one way that I do it. If I can't figure out what to exaggerate because the face is attractive or beautiful looking, then instead I just stylize and I stylize the eyes, the mouth, and the hair. And boom, you've got a cool drawing. Okay, and one final trick when it comes to exaggerating people. If you imagine that everyone is a character in a movie, and they're a movie star, and then draw them like that, then it always comes out good, in my opinion. So these are the first photos that I showed you. And uh, even though you may be a movie star, I mean, this guy, I think, looks like the villain in a movie, but still a movie star, so that counts. And by the way, if you're interested in my video courses, please sign up to my email list with the link in the description of this video. On your first email, you'll get an unlisted video lesson and you'll be able to download a cool PDF that I put together of this lesson that you watched today. It's totally free and it's my way of saying thank you for letting me email you once in a while. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video.